station chief, Dan Hoffman. He's also a Fox business contributor. Dan, great to see you. Thank you for being here. You know Intel, uh, not only here, but overseas as well. The Chinese have fully infiltrated just about every level of our society, as much as any foreign government ever has. You have the Confucius societies spying on students. You have TikTok. Uh, you even apparently have spies at the Federal Reserve Board. I, they think they have us figured out, and they have good reason to believe that. But do you think they they misunderstood Speaker Pelosi's intentions? Were they surprised by her visit? Well, I think they're probing us, frankly. Uh, look, over the past few months, President Biden on three occasions said the United States would come to Taiwan's defense, just like Senator Kennedy just said we should. And three times... Uh, his own administration officials had to walk that back because our policy of strategic ambiguity is such that we don't uh, promise to provide Taiwan with assistance if, ta if China were to invade. And I think given Taiwan's uh, very critical uh, geostrategic importance to the United States and our allies, uh, we need to think about changing that policy. Uh, if, if China were to attack Taiwan and, and take over, and remember that Xi Jinping says that Taiwan is a breakaway province and needs to be reunited with China. If that were to happen, there would be grave consequences for the United States and our allies in the region, and China would subsume Taiwan's vibrant economy, including their semiconductor industry, mm -hmm. uh, which is you know, responsible for, for a lot of our cell phones and everything from those to, to, to vehicles we drive. So they don't not only have our pharmaceuticals, our medicines, which is bad enough, but they'd also have our, our electronic supplies. But th they went further than that and, and in threatening the, the second person in line to the presidency, Nancy Pelosi, the Speaker of the House. I mean, that was that was a, a step that they've never taken before. I know they did it with by using a dupe that they have in, in their own media. But still, that was a direct threat. Did they, they think they realized they went a step too far there or not? Well, again, I think they felt like they were probing us, okay. and one of China's policies, one of their goals has been strategically, you know, to, to isolate Taiwan diplomatically. Yeah. And they felt like if they could induce the United States uh, to call off that visit, and remember, President Biden was against it. Right. then China would have succeeded further in isolating well, they, Taiwan. They I didn't think that do was it. what they, they were doing. They didn't do it, Dan. So now my question is, what do you think they're going to do? Now that she's gone there, where do they go from here? Well, we've already seen uh, China deploy 21 of their aircraft, including 10 of their new J-16 fighter aircraft, into Taiwan's air defense. Uh, they are going to launch those, those military drills. Uh, I think that's kind of the short term, some, uh, some of this kind of brazen uh, demonstration of, of military strength on China's part, but also perhaps in the longer term, maybe uh, some economic pressure on, on Taiwan. Yeah. Uh, Taiwan depends on China for a bit of their trade. We might see some retaliation in that sphere as well. All right. I, I want to switch to the strike on Zawahiri. Uh, I guess that's the old way of pronouncing. I know there's a new way, but I'm going to stick with the old way. Uh, it's great news. It was a tremendous achievement on the part of our intelligence services who've been working on it for quite a while. Uh, but I want to play a tape of what the president said a year ago in that, that horrible withdrawal, the process of withdrawal from Afghanistan. Here's what he said on August 20th, uh, 2021. Roll tape. Look, let's put this thing in perspective here. What interest do we have in Afghanistan at this point with Al Qaeda gone? We went to Afghanistan for the express purpose of getting rid of Al Qaeda in Afghanistan as well as, as well as getting Osama bin Laden. And we did. Well, Al-Qaeda is not gone. They were living in the open. They're probably still uh, dozens of more uh, of, of top Al-Qaeda leaders living openly in, in Kabul. What does that say about what Afghanistan has become since we left? I mean, that's, those are the dark clouds, look, that, uh, around this, this successful strike. And look, we're, we should be very grateful uh, to the, our intelligence agencies uh, for, for successfully launching uh, that strike, finding, fixing, and finishing high-value target leader of al-Qaeda, Zawahiri. But at the same time, he was in downtown Kabul, in what used to be the diplomatic quarter, receiving support uh, and, and sanctuary from the Haqqani Network, which is a part of the Taliban government. Uh, the, the leader of the Haqqani Network uh, is Siraj Adin Haqqani. He's the acting minister of interior. So. This is past his prologue. The Taliban is continuing to provide sanctuary to al-Qaeda. 
Uh, they don't have the wherewithal or the capability to shut down ISIS. Afghanistan is a petri dish, growing threats to our national security in the region and beyond. Uh, they are more of a threat, a pres clear and present danger to the United States of America than they ever have been before. And wow. that's my concern going forward, is that we just don't have the capability to shut down those networks like we used to. This one strike is a success, but there are a host of other al-Qaeda members, fighters, and networks out in Afghanistan that continue to threaten us. Quick, quick last question. Uh, with bin Laden, of course, we had DNA tests. We had the body. We were able to be certain that, that we actually got bin Laden. Uh, that wasn't really possible in this case. Uh, there wasn't much left of this guy after we killed him, and, and we apparently we weren't on the ground when it happened. Are we certain that we got Zawahiri? I think the administration is certain they apparently have uh, some visual confirmation. They probably have confirmation as well from sources and uh, those remaining al-Qaeda members who were talking about what happened. Remember that the, the Haqqani network was quick to whisk away Zawahiri's family from the scene and clean up the debris. I'm sure they were talking about the strike that took place. Yeah, I'm sure they were. Well, again, we don't want to downplay the success. Our intel agencies uh, do keep us safe. I know they got problems. Everybody's got problems. All human institutions do. But thank God they got them this time. Uh, Dan Hoffman, great to see you again. Thank you very much for being here. Well, misleading.